this is the boss of today, I'm going to be watching Retro Ahoy and Attack. Now, um, this is the first episode that uh, the one guy by the name of, of, of Ahoy has uploaded. Back in 2011. Hi. Look at it, it says originally uploaded May 1st, 2011. So basically we uploaded to um, consolidate on one channel, which is this one right here. So, um... Find the retro episodes for instance, original. Okay, now I know. Uh, he does a lot of uh, like documentary style type of videos talking about um, different uh, games and what the plot is, plot of those games are about, and the details of what it includes, and the reviews, and yada yada yada. You get the deal. Anyway, this is the first on a series. I believe I've checked out it. Uh, I found it I found it on his channel back in 2016. So, um,. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was like uh, almost uh, over almost two years ago. Almost. Either way, let's get started. I heard this was was well received by the way back in the back in the day. I think it was in the eighties. I think it was released. I don't know. Let's see. There we go. Few games are genuinely scary, and a truly terrifying title in the eight bit era was a rare thing indeed. In this video, we're looking at a game that might be the very first in the survival horror genre. Oh. Ant Attack, as the title adequately explains, puts you against a horde of formidably formic foes. Set in the city of Antesha, named for its puzzling Escher-esque structures and aforementioned insectoid inhabitants. Armed with a limited supply of grenades and facing a swarm of unrelenting enemies, discretion was the key to success. The quicker you were able to complete a rescue, the easier the task would be. The process Jeez. itself was simple. You need only lead those in distress to safety outside the city walls. Linger too long inside, and the ants would swarm, bite your character, and sap your health. Take too many hits, and you'd succumb to their sting. Released in 1983, near the start of the ZX Spectrum's rise to popularity, uh, the yes, attack was the produced Spectrums. by one-man development team, Sandy White. As well, the author Clay Green comes into White place. White was an unorthodox candidate for games programming. Fucking Sybil. With similarly unusual methods. The entire soft, solid 3D engine was handwritten in machine code to fit in a paltry four kilobytes of space. With an early working title of 3D Ant, and also later known as Ant Terror before release, the final title, Ant Attack, was eventually decided by the publisher. Although the publishing industry was then nascent, built on a fledgling gaming scene, far from the big business it is now, White secured a deal with Quicksilver, who had scored a string of early successes with titles such as Mind Out and Velna's Lair. What? They were also one of the few publishers to use colour cassette sleeves, a step above the usual monochromatic fare at the time. Of course, Why Ant Attack like was innovative beyond its box and can lay claim to a number of firsts. On the face of it, the game seems almost misogynistic. You have to rescue your seemingly seconds. helpless girlfriend How much from the is in minutes. But the game actually offered you a choice of gender, so you could reverse the roles and play as the girl. Character names were unimaginative, to say the least. The male and female characters were dubbed he and she, respectively. No choice of a same-sex rescue, however, but I suppose gender equality, at least, was a step forward in 1983. Hmm. The unique 3D presentation of the city really set the game aside. It was arguably the first isometric video game in the world. Some might say Ooh. arcade title Zaxxon was the first, but the scrolling shooter lacked some degrees of movement, so it became a question Holy of semantics. Holy shit, that looked amazing in back in, in the case. case. For the home system, Ant Attack was yeah. remarkable, and allowed full freedom of movement about the city, even allowing you to climb the fanciful structures to escape the mandibles below. It wasn't until over a year later, with the release of Marble Madness and oh. Nightmare, oh. The yep, there it is. Nightmare. Sandy White went on to release a sequel in 1984's Zombie Zombie, although Ant Attack would be the game he was most remembered for. Quicksilver remained active during the 1980s, although post-1984 their output slowed. That year saw the acquisition of the company by Argus Press Software, later known as Grand Slam Entertainment. Huh? The Quicksilver name was last seen on the 1989 home releases of Packland, after which okay. it was quietly retired, never to be seen again. Mm -hmm. Ants remained a moderately popular topic for games of the period, and it perhaps Quicksilver's finest was the inspiration behind other ant-based games, such as It Came From The Desert, Sim Ant, 
and the appearance of giant ants in more recent titles, such as the Fallout series. There's no doubting that Ant Attack was a pioneering title, a technical triumph for its small size, and oddly terrifying, despite its simplicity. Join me next time when we'll be delving into the delights of another hidden gem from yesteryear. Until then, farewell. Still brown. Alright then. So, yeah. This was a very short, by the way. <laughs> Woo! Okay, um... The next one the jam. I don't know well, which one it is because um, I, you know, eventually look, look through the whole list and uh, try and find it in. The first episode of the this might be in. Sorry if I was yawning or whatever. It's just that I'm a bit tired. So um, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, I have a voting poll in the description below of um, of four different Half Life mods that I'll be, that I'll be playing. Upon your choosing, so you can check it in the description below. And the deadline is uh, this Sunday, so um, yeah, let's see who wins. But either way, that's been it. If you enjoyed it, enjoyed it, then uh, please give it a like, which means a lot. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't want to miss any of my videos and his live streams. And that was not a voice crack at all, that was just me going, Hi, pitched. <laughs> yeah, you know. <clears throat> Either way, that's when I end it. Yeah, stay serious, strong, and as always, take care, guys. And yeah, peace.